Okay, so now that we can do majors and minors from the fifth string, let's learn how to do some sevens and some susses using the fifth string as our root. Again, the fifth string is A, and the same logic applies. All natural notes are a whole step apart, with the exception of B and C and E and F, which are both a half step apart from each other. So using that logic, we have A, then go up a whole step to B, half step to C, C and D are a whole step apart, D and E are a whole step apart, and then E and F are a half step apart. So let's figure out a chord like, uh, say, C7. We would go A, B, C. We have our root here on the fifth string. Here's C. Then from there, we're going to bar all the way down from the fifth string on down to the first string with our first finger. Add your third finger to the fifth fret of the fourth string and your pinky to the fifth fret of the second string. And strum. And that chord is C7. If you were to take this down, take this root and bring it down so that the root was now B, your first finger would be barring all the way across here on the second fret from the fifth string on down. Your third finger would be at the fourth fret of the fourth string, pinky at the fourth fret of the second string. And that's now B7. Bring it down so your root's B flat. And we have B flat seven. Come up here to D so that your root's D. D7 then D flat 7, which is also the same as C sharp 7. We just call it differently depending on what key you're using. And then you can come up here to E. You have E7, E flat 7. This is Long Train Running by the Doobie Brothers. The song's in the key of G minor in standard tuning. In the fifth measure, you're going to go to a C minor 7 chord. So for this chord, I've got my first finger at the 8th fret of the 3rd string, my 3rd finger on the 10th fret of the 4th string, and my 4th finger on the 11th fret of the 2nd string. 